This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stolenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Come on guys, it's Christmas. You have to have some positivity in your life, right? So, uh, this is not uh, what I expected at all from this project. I've been uh, hoping that uh, we will be able to um, repair uh, this battery. But it seems that it's uh, too big damage. So we have to go and, uh, and uh, order a another battery for sure it's gonna be used one uh, David us our uh, customer advice has found uh, uh, also long range battery 75 kilowatts uh, which has driven maybe 30 35 thousand kilometers just so we have to pay for it uh, 70 thousand Norwegian kroner plus delivery so is not the best price but I think uh, we can uh, live with that so as as we talked at the beginning we're taking all this project as, as to learn as you know you can uh, watch or read the uh, hundred books but until you haven't tried yourself or at least it works for me like this until I haven't tried myself I not actually learning too much um, so let me show you I will just turn the camera around see here um, this is the, the 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 model which was actually I show you the whole one the model which is in the corner and it seems that uh, maybe the car was standing a little bit like this so this uh, model has the biggest damage I think uh, when we started I thought okay this is the the worst part uh, one cell is uh, is uh, like uh, completely corroded and then another one has missing the now see those uh, pins and uh, I've been talking and discussing with my colleague and he says that uh, you can just disconnect one uh, one uh, cell, one finger and it's gonna be not too big difference, not too big problem but uh, after some uh, research we found that um, here this uh, plate is actually corroded I don't I cannot show on another one but um, to understand like this is like uh, plus or minus I'm not sure here main one which is goes to the exactly like here which goes to the another battery and uh, it has like uh, one two three four five six uh, like fingers which connecting to the whole this uh, model plate and as you see here it's it's rusted or it's corroded I don't know how to call it so actually there is no connection here so what is uh, connection is we have just over here those two pins which connect in the whole the plate uh, as much as I found out uh, there is uh, uh, 42 uh, cells connected uh, together if I'm not mistaken so they are connected like this the whole module and then there is a over plate probably it's, it's visible here which connect those modules together when we started to uh, fall fine we thought what the heck is this why it's so corroded here and uh, we're thinking that this corrosion is because of uh, of uh, liquid which probably leaked out of the cell I don't know how possible is that, but um, we cannot explain in uh, another words. And this is the same, uh, we've seen it somewhere here, this model too. So it probably means that uh, actually we needed uh, two models, one there and uh, one here, the longer in the middle. I've been reading uh, your comments 
um, I seen that many people wondering and asking how actually the water came into the battery because many uh, thinks that um, that this model 3 battery is completely sealed but uh, uh, actually it's not like this not completely true so the, we have um, at the end of the battery uh, well the battery is now sideways or battery box so we have uh, two uh, openings here one there one there and uh, from uh, inside it looks like this I don't know how they call it exactly in Tesla maybe it's like umbrella valve and uh, I think that they are quite uh, okay they should uh, keep some something of the pressure or the water coming inside or outside in our case but uh, uh, those two guys here those black um, uh, plastics looks like it's some kind of uh, breathing uh, valve and uh, here you can blow easily air inside or outside from actually from both sides so um, I believe that uh, actually water into our model 3 um, came into the battery through uh, those uh, small tiny holes so i can uh, not i can i believe that uh, maybe this car was standing inside uh, some water dump or was floated for several hours or maybe days until it get uh, uh, saved so it had uh, enough time uh, to uh, to fill uh, the battery with the with the waters. It would be nice to find out where the car was, what happened exactly, and so on. But I, so far, I was not able to reach that kind of information. I know I shouldn't, uh, how to say, repeat Bjorn, but it's so fun. But <laughs> let's try. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, as always, thank you and talk to you later.